All right, so I am going to make a video on how to do a full page of print and cut. So what I do is I get a square and I'm going to put it the maximum size that Cricut will let you do a print and cut, which is 6.75 times 9.25. And then I'm going to use an image from Cricut. I love to use the llamas. They're fun. Let me go ahead and pick one. Let's do this one. All right, I'm gonna flatten it because we're used to print and cut. And let's 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 work on an example. Let's say that we send this to make it, and we tell her that we want twenty. Let's see how many she fits nine in one paper. Let's see what we can do about that. So we're going to do duplicate and I'm going to turn her. There we got two. I'm going to group and duplicate. All right, I think we can fit one more. Let's duplicate and group and get rid of one. Mm. Well, maybe we want, let's see, oh, oh, yep, we can fit one more. All right, so now that I have that, I'm going to group it, I'm going to start duplicating. So now we have two, four, five, that's 10, that's 15. So we went from, what was it, 9 to 15. So once you have them all how you want them in your in your rectangle, you're gonna go and get this rectangle and delete it. Then you're gonna grab everything and you're gonna go flatten. Did it work? Flatten there. And now when you go and hit make it. Oops, sorry. The flatten went away. Let me grab it all again. Flatten. Now, now it's working. Make it. So from nine in a page, we went to 15 in a page. Look at that. You see? That's how you can do a full page on print and cut.